guess it's the light, you guys. made it to our first stop it's basically like a whole city like built on this like hill. rocky cliff hill and it is incredible pity galano <laughs> probably said that terribly <laughs> it's like cr found a little friend I have never seen anything like this in my whole life. I can't believe that they would build like a whole city on the rocks like this because I can only imagine that would be so much more difficult than just building this entire village like over in the countryside, like just over the hill. Taking a step back into history. City is so crazy, like the streets are marble. We've been having a ton of fun just like walking around these quiet streets, exploring, just incredibly beautiful, even more beautiful inside than from the viewpoint of the street. So this town is known as the Little Jerusalem Town. It has been a safe haven for Jewish people for a very long time. It actually started as a church. Eventually people just kept coming and coming after hearing about it and it grew into this huge village. And even during World War II, this was also considered a safe haven for them. They would come here and it looks like with the wall, you could just keep people out. I just hear the church bell. It's like, they still have it. The coolest thing about this little town is that it's totally still in use. Like, there's people going about their daily lives. They live in these incredible buildings. We made it to the hot springs. Definitely smelly, you can smell the sulfur. Looks so cool though. So we walked in over there. You could see the people walking along the bridge. And then if you just come down, look at how pretty it gets. We have made it. So that steam came on real quickly. Alright guys, we found our little spot all to ourselves here. We're gonna just swim around for a little bit and then we'll snag some photos after. Proper exfoliation. You go in here, grab out this, rub it on. Oh, yeah. like the best spa day ever. I am feeling so nice and exfoliated. You know you had a good time when your fingers are all pretty. Ah, oh, this is so nice you guys. I don't the know if the other one can beat this. This one's like a hidden gem. I didn't even, I just found it like clicking around on Google. This place is incredible, you guys. It's probably one of our favorite places that we've ever been to. I was literally gonna say that. This is like, for sure, in my top 10 favorite places I've ever been. Lots of space, lots of photo opportunities. It's really relaxing. My skin feels so good right now. Yeah, we're gonna be doing this again tomorrow, but at the more popular hot springs around sunrise. So that'll be cool. So far, Tuscany? 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10, 100 out of 10. Unreal. Good morning. 
are going to Saturnia Hot Springs and it is freezing this morning. And so windy. So we're trying to get there before the crowds get the drone up and hopefully get some killer shots and get warm. I already smell the sulfur. There she is. So as you guys can see, we've been here for probably like an hour. It is totally packed, so you guys are gonna wanna get here bright and early before the crowds, maybe even earlier than us if you can. We meant to be here at sunrise, but we woke up late and did not make it in time. All right guys, so we've been driving for around an hour to our next spot here in Tuscany. We're not quite there yet. I took a little pee break and check out this view here. Incredible. Rolling hills of Tuscany. See, are you sleeping in there? Yeah. Oh, it's cold. All right, I'm coming back in. We are almost there. The church is within sight. I am layered up because it is so cold and windy outside. I have pants under my dress, boots, this jacket. Woo! This is the craziest thing. I set the GoPro down for like a couple minutes and it literally started to smell like something was on fire. And I look over and the GoPro handle is burning in flames. You can see how like melted it got. And it was oh my God. because like, I don't know, something to do with this like structure this here. This metal structure and this light beam right here burnt the plastic on this. Yeah, I had it right here. And it's like really hot. It's so crazy. Did you guys ever wear your mask to keep you warm? I definitely am right now. Along this road, there's a ton of olive trees. I actually didn't even know what they looked like until uh, Raphael and Elsa showed us, but I'm gonna pick a couple. They're definitely not ready yet. But this is what an olive tree looks like for those of you who don't know. These look like maybe Kalamatas, I'm not really sure. I'm not an olive connoisseur, but they're definitely too hard to pick. Drive to the oh-so-famous Instagram location. Oh, guys that's a pretty view right there it's a little tip when you're driving through Tuscany when you put in your location on Google Maps click the upper three dots you can actually go in there to route options turn on avoid tolls and avoid highways that way you get to experience all these beautiful side roads and you don't have to spend any extra money yeah well it might take a little bit longer but I think it's worth it with all the views and stuff. So just a little tip. All right guys, that traffic was madness. We uh, made it to our camping in town place here in Florence where we stayed for a night. And we're currently waiting in line to check in. Okay, let's see what we have. Walking on to the porch. It's like a African safari tent in Florence, Italy. Got our big bed. And a little bathroom back here. A little glamping. Sink, toilet, shower. Perfect. Got my uh, Sardinia Pichinusa beer. Cheers, guys. What a long day of driving. I think we probably clocked in around six hours of driving. 
so we are pretty exhausted um, so it feels good to crack this one and uh, just relax.